Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all these, welcome to SD Eternity Episode 12. This is S Eternity side of the Paradise Lost Bathroom map. This here is truly the jam back to Joe Smontis along with Eddie and the champ. What's going on, guys? I don't even know who that lady is talking to. Hey, yo, we are. Hey, we are on TV! On YouTube! On the TV chat. Okay. Yo, what the fuck was that shit all about at the opening of the show there? I have no idea. Well, look who it is! Oh, she's got, she's got me in a very good mood. She did what? Oh, oh she, she did what? Like what? Yeah, well, she did what no one else has done. She's beating Aquamarine. But yeah, I know that's probably yeah. something that's not on her mind right now. She's got a big old mess to deal with. Namely with the fact that the Tennessee Championships are in the hands of non-contracted workers! Yeah, in fact, non-contracted workers, uh, I guess we're allowed to mention my name, Birds and Riot. The non-contracted workers are demanding contracts where you will never see the belts again. And the fat money paychecks. Great trash, only. Cash is everything around me. We can get the money, now that they are. Okay. Let's, see what, let's see what the owner has done about this. Will she give in to Poison and Ryan's demands? Let's see. about laying the challenge. Okay. That's huge though. Let's turn the button in it. Hold them to check shit. I mean, tell it like it is. If you want the contract so badly, you're gonna have to run the devil's gauntlet. And they fail. And if they fail, and they fail, they're dead. Yep. There's only been one team to go through a devil's gauntlet. And that was World's Ruin last year. And think about it, one of the teams in that in that that gauntlet. They're undefeated.
Oh, you knew it was going to that. The hunt for April continues. No more surviving the April. Basically killed every dead. <laughs> yeah, basically. But the question is, will Envy find April acid or will Envy get to April for the second week in a row? <laughs> yep. We're going to start things off with a very interesting opening contest as we have a rematch from... Well, the last time these two fought guys was in Korea a couple of weeks ago. They brought in a 20-minute time limit into a draw. Wow. And it's awesome to note that the, they only wrestled each other only twice. The first what? time was in the SCA Climax 2010. We were playing. We were we were going to have our very first Queen of Roses champion, and Ryomo defeated Reiko by nearly stopping her heart with the heart punch. Well, there comes the zero fighter. Yeah, this is a rematch from two years ago. Or more recently, two weeks ago. Yeah, but I was saying, but originally when they had the match in Korea, it was originally, you know, before that, two years ago. Right. When they fought in Korea, like I said, it ended in a draw. Ryo was about to make Reiko tap out to the octopus stretch when the clock went to zero. Of course, the zero fighter looks like she's all different. Yeah, but here's another woman who's also business. The, the second queen of the second the OS the, the second queen of woman to hold the Queen of Roses championship, and the second longest reigning. Representing the HWO. Yeah, it's all. And guys, I don't know if you noticed, but if you guys saw the first house show. After Ryoma basically beat Marie Silva, Dark Sakura, Tenny, and, and the Rose of Roses champion Rage came out and about and, a, and, a, and basically a plot her. I'm just I'm messing up the fact that she's a member of the HWO and she's getting a bigger pop than the Zero Fighter there. That's a that's I mean, that's, that's a bad surprise for me as well. It's almost yeah, like when yeah. RV, it's almost like when RVD was fighting Invasion in 2001, he's the only one getting cheered. Right. <laughs> I think it's a matter of respect when it you know, comes to the almost, though I don't like how she necessarily conducts her business, and uh, as you mentioned, associated with those pack of dogs that have to do uh, it. And Yomo, who was, a, was the center around all controversy to, to her leading to her joining the HWO, she was the last member to join before Andrea came. Basically the whole controversy regarding the tag team titles, breaking Hakuhu's ankle on the night when she was against Deanna Diamond for the title. That was a clutch hit by a zero fighter and we almost have not done that. Yep, this is gonna be a battle this is gonna be a battle of street wrestling. Street wrestling, very technical. You have a former women's champion in the ring, Rico. You got a former Queen of Roses champion in that ring. And former tag champ. Not going to see a lot of wasted movement. Not going to see a lot of mistakes between these two. Nope. Yep. And remember, they, remember they did wrestle each other very recently, so probably not going to see a lot of surprises between one and another either. Yep. Uh, All I know is that the thing is that Reiko is going to have to be the more aggressive in this match. Yoma will probably try to keep the the, the pace very uh, slow, try to you know try to weaken her to 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 try to go for submissions. Gonna take a lot to get her to that point. I mean, both of these women are double tough. so it's gonna really take a lot. Just oh, at that. oh my God! They had that match recently, it went to a 20 minute draw, because that's all it's, it's going to take, 20 minutes to wear one of the two down. Yeah, that match was very back and forth. Victories could, were, it was like, it was really, it was like probably the closest you'll ever get. I, that was the very first time a draw has ever happened in SEA. I believe they won't have to worry, I think, I believe they won't have to worry about the handicap that is the fact this evening. 
Yep, this time they don't have to worry about a handicap because of the clock. They can go all out here. They smashed my Reiko. Also, guys, I've uh, also I've heard of the other matches booked for tonight, and also here's a very interesting one. Uh -huh. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You have an elimination tag match with all four women who are gunning for the women's television championship. Yeah, so that's the other, that's the other incident, uh, issue that they had to deal with, but I thought they were going to deal with it, huh? No, no, but basically this is elimination tag, right? Oh. Andrea is teaming up with Salvatore while Aya is teaming up with Angelus. What the hell? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. No, but <laughs> I also has something to say regarding about all three contenders. Yeah, that won't be awkward. No, 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 no. Oh, we're just going to have to see how this is going to turn out, but that will be very interesting to see how all four of these women will be in that elimination tag later tonight. No, won't be awkward at all. <laughs> 